Hello, good morning. My name is Bridget Walsh. Welcome to the Diva Show live on TV3. And I'm sitting in Fort Nanaba, who's on a short leave. And, well, lots of action this week. I particularly, I think my favorite game has to be the Barca game. I mean, Lionel Messi, again, proves that, look, he inspires. And yesterday, I went to um, World Trade Center. And then the ladies there, they actually follow football. And they said that, look, the Barcelona team is now, uh, is it Leo, Leo Messi, something, so, Leo, Barcelona. So it's Leo Lona. Oh. I've even forgotten the name, but anyway, it tells you that all the girls out there are following the game. And we'll be talking about that. Now, the most important one for us is that Akwesi Apia is one year as coach of the Black Stars. How would you assess his performance? I mean, from when he took off, we went to the African Cup of Nations, where that referee tried to, you know, push us into the finals. That referee, you know, refereed the game with uh, Burkina Faso. At the end of the day, the, the most deserved team won. Uh, I'll be joined in the studio by Rough and Smooth. I'm waiting for them. The show starts at 9. Please, someone should tell them. Starts at 9, not 9.30. So I'm still waiting for them. But again, I've been joined by three other fantastic guests who are equally passionate about the game. One of them just raised the eyebrow, I hope. But a uh, very good morning to you, uh, Angelica. Angelica, you are an elementary school teacher from the UK. Yeah. Wow, how long have you been teaching? Um, I've been teaching all in all. I started as an assistant when I was 17, but I've been teaching at my current place for a year now. Hmm. So you're like, what, 20? I'm, tw I'm 24. 24? Yeah. Oh, great. You love teaching? It's the best thing ever. It's really rewarding. It's the children it? that keep Gan it Ghanaian teachers, they, they, I mean, they went on strike about a week ago. They won't be very really? happy to hear. <laughs> it's rewarding. <laughs> but no, it's nice to hear that from yeah. you. And then I have the hall master from Ogwa Hall in UCC. Yes, please. And UCC, uh, Ogwa Hall begins their whole week celebration this week. Yes, please. And you joined us. I, I want yeah. to believe you love football. Yes, I do. You do. Your favorite team, local and international? Ebusia Dwarf. Ebusia Dwarf. Oh, Coast. Cape Coast. Yes. Oh, Ah, very patriotic. Nice one, nice one, nice one. <laughs> and then I have a very young rapper. Uh, he calls himself Bra Kofi. Hi, Bra Kofi. I'm doing good. You're good. Yeah. You know, today I actually wanted to wear shades on it. I don't get it. You know, when people come on the show and they're wearing it. I really want to know how that feels like. How does that feel like? I, sh I think my producer should give me my shades, you know, so I can it's try. Because of the lights, you know. The lights, yeah. really? I can take it off. You can take it off. Oh, but you look bad. fine with it. Maybe it comes with the, the whole the showbiz swag, music yeah. thing. Yeah. It does, eh? All right, how long have you been rapping? No, like 10 years now. 10 Pro years? Professionally, three years now. You look very young. How old are you? Mm, I'm pretty young. I don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty young. Oh, but I hope you're an adult. Yeah, I'm an adult. Great. Yeah. That, that's, that's, then we can start, we can yeah. start from there, all right? Um, did you follow the game, how Hallmaster, uh, the Champions yeah. League this week? Oh, yes. You did? Uh, yes, I did. And uh, improvement and... Cities, we go go out. Anything we do, we do it with confidence. <laughs> and we train hard. Anyone who train hard won. Right. Yes. Right. And you didn't tell me your favorite team internationally. I had the Busia Dwarf. Oh, that's Manchester United. Manchester United. Oh, yes. Nanaba would love you. That's it. Manchester yeah, United. Yeah. But it's good she's not. So we can, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. reduce the Manchester. Because I have a soft spot for Manchester United. But I love Mourinho. Everybody yeah. knows that. So. Um, but did you follow the game, uh, Barcelona's game? No, last night. No, no, you, no, 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 no that was, uh, I think, on Wednesday. No. Uh, Barca and PSG. No. That was on Wednesday. No. All right. Um, Angelica, how much football do you know? Because the EPL is very popular in Ghana here. I mean, we follow it more than the Bundesliga, than mm. Syria, than which other one? The Spanish La Liga. I want to believe you love, you know football, Angelica. No. You don't? I know. Nah. You don't? No. Not even in England. I watch football occasionally, but I don't really get it. That you don't get it. When you say you don't get it, it's not rocket science. What, what is it that you don't mm. get about football? I just, sometimes, like, the rules and stuff, I don't really understand it. But I try and watch it. I watch it when Ghana play, definitely. Yes. But, okay, give me, like, names of some of the players. In where? In England. I mean, oh. like, in general. I'm not going to say uh, from Manchester United or Arsenal or Chelsea. No, just in general. Emmanuel Frimpong. Okay. Yeah, yeah he's a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good. Who, who else? 
I don't know. You don't know? Messi. <laughs> Me oh, gosh, please. I, I, I hope you guys <laughs> muted her microphone. Cause Messi. Mm -mm. Oh, Messi in England? Mm -mm. No, no, in England, just in general now, because I really don't know football mm -mm. that much. Right. Right, but I mean, I like the admission. Trust me, by the time you're done with the show, you'd love football, you'd get to, know, you'd get to enjoy it as we move on. Brown Coffee. Yes, dear. Yes, did you follow the Champions League this week? No. Or the Europa League? No, no. You were what? Skating I was in, in the, the studio, studio? Yeah, I, yeah, studio. I, I, I had my lunch, I imagine. So I was in the studio working hard. Okay, so can you put the line of what you do? Just rap. a bit? Yeah, right. Okay, so, um, when you're sitting here, I want to... Jimmy for on with that. Did you know you meant to say that? Upin Pini is a coboga. A Colabia agent sobo, blasters for Fercobo, a Faja to cope with a mani be a cosocobo. Oh, here you are, you here be. Would you hear, would you hear D? Bracofi, I be the sea, Capeca, with your magi. Eh, right, right, nice one, nice one. I like your flow, but you do English as well, right? Because you mix it. Yeah, oh, nice one, nice one. Um, uh, Chris here up here has been coach of the blasters for like what a year now, and he took. His first game was against, I think, Lesotho, and we thrashed Lesotho mm -hmm. about seven goals to nil. Mm -hmm. And that was like a huge confidence booster, mm -hmm. not just for him, but for all Ghanaians. But beyond that, the African Cup of Nations, how would you s say his performance has been? Well, it has been improving, and we must be patient. You see, Ghanaians, we criticize a lot but we don't give an alternative yeah because he appear we celebrate him he's a local coach we must appreciate our own so we must give him time and he will surely perform right if you appreciate what is yours others will now appreciate you I have that, uh, that line I agree. Uh, Brown Coffee, I want to believe you follow the black stars because if you don't, I mean, we're going to take a break right now. I'll leave that, I'll leave that moment. Great. You know. And have you been, you know, watching Kwesi uh, Pia, the sort of selection he's made in the past? He's mm. experimented with a lot of, a lot of young talents. Talent. Well, it's good, it's good, you know. But um, I don't know Ghanaians. Ghanaians don't have patience, you know. Mm. I think uh, we should give them a time. To, to, to see what his brains are, like to see what he's doing. Because I think he wants more youthful players so that they can move on, they can play for a long period of time. You understand what I'm saying? He doesn't want to use the old folks. I don't know what's going on, but then I think he's doing a great job. I right. Him. But then again, I mean, after the Nations Cup, the backlash, I mean, the issues of the AU brothers who have taken a premature, you know, sort of retirement from the Black Stars until further notice. The GFA has extended invitation, which they turned down, but they're still, you know, talking. Uh, looking at that, do you think, because the boys felt they have been treated unfairly, uh, do you think that also doesn't taint the whole uh, issue about his, his ability to make decisions and pick the right players? The question we should ask is, did he really call those boys? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, he was in, but then last minute injury, and then he was asked. So it's no one's fault. It was an injury. It was an injury. That is why they, like, the boys weren't able to play in African Cup, you know. So I think they should still talk to them. We are all human. We make mistakes mm -hmm. sometimes. They should still talk to them. Mm -hmm. And they should know it's a national thing. It's not an individual thing. They should come support the team. Even though they've turned the first one down, maybe if we keep on inviting them, they might come. Right. I want to ask about his, I mean, he's been critiqued for his end, the supposed indecision, you know, when it comes to uh, picking maybe a player like I put to him, and that perhaps he's not even in charge, but there are other people who are calling the show. I want to pick your brain on that. But uh, Angelique, I mean, you don't like football, but how can we pick your interest in football? Not just you, but women who do, you know, not, not normally wouldn't follow the game or couldn't be bothered about what's happening. How can we pick your interest? How do we get your interest in? Because I want it from your experience, from your point of view. Do you know what? I would actually be interested in football if I had a bit more time to watch it. I just think, or even, like for example, in London, if I do watch it, sometimes the guys get so hyped and so excited that I feel, oh wow, I'm a bit out of place. Do you know what I mean? But No, I, I think because they have, they have a particular team they're following. Yeah, like a particular and I don't player. really have a team, so it just depends on the individual maybe. Yeah, it does, I, I think so. But how can we, how do we get away from uh, just thinking that Akwesi Abe is not even in charge of the team? Honestly, we must unlearn to learn. And 
make an attempt to reconcile. Sure. Because reconciliation is a hallmark of peace. Right. And he's in charge. He's the coach. But we should trust him enough. We should trust him. And also, he must be prepared to learn. Absolutely. I agree, I agree with you. And Reverend Canon Robert Dawson, yes, Hallmaster. Yes, Reverend, I wanted to, you know, emphasize on the Reverend because, yes, I mean, you, you're a man of God. Thank you. Right. So I want to ask you, do you believe in ju believe, believe there's juju in football? No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, no, no. No. They say heaven helps those who help themselves. Yes, but they are helping that, themselves by going that, for talisman, no, for that no, no. red band, that diary. No, no, no. The devil will deceive you. Absolutely. He's a very deceptive uh, human being. He will deceive you. Right. And uh, if we go through the scriptures and all these things, you said uh, uh, the heart of man is so deceptive. All right. And uh, when you train hard, work hard, you will reap the fruits of your labor. Yes, you heard it right here from the reverend himself. Mm -hmm. There's no to do in football. Whatever you think you're using, mm -hmm. uh, you think it is, it's helping you to score, it's actually not helping. It's actually your ability. Mm -hmm. You're talented mm -hmm. and you've got to believe in yourself more. Believe yeah, absolutely. So what's happening? You see the whole week. Yes. We want to <laughs> thank you all for this opportunity. <laughs> Ogwa Hall is the premier hall. Yeah. I keep saying UCC, but yes. Oguaho. It's like you had Atlantic. Yes. Oguaho. Oguaho. Yes. Is the, the first. <laughs> yes. And uh, I want to send greetings from our Vice Chancellor, Professor Didi Kupole, the Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Nelson Boa, right. and our Registrar. We, we, we acknowledge we don't yes. have a lot of time yet. Yes. So we can run through. And uh, we are beginning our 51st whole week celebration okay. today. Today. And Ogawa has produced a lot of eminent yeah. personalities. Okay, run us through some of them. I'm ready. I'm oh. He's a member of the University Council. Yeah. J.M. Jawula. Hey, when you said J.M., I thought the idea of uh, F.A. Yes, from F.A. Yeah, he's currently, yeah, he's currently yeah. the F.A. chairman, right? That's so it. F.A. Yes. F.A. cup chairman, I think. That is yeah. it. And uh, is it the managing director of... Uh, uh, Tamale United. Oh, yes. okay. yeah, Tamale United. Yeah. I like the fact that the people you've mentioned are all connected to sports. I like that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. In fact, when you said JM, I almost said it is the president. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, Jaula, 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 yes. <laughs> then uh, we have a visit Musa also from Oguaho, now with the Zion Bank headquarters. Then Dr. Hinuba Ajenim Boateng, okay. so, Deputy Registrar. Uh, we have a tour list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's yes. know right to the yes. Vice Chancellor. Yes. Yeah, yes. But let's know what's going to happen on the day, I mean, the week. What's happening, Ooh. what activities. And who gets to be a part of it so the, we can take a break. Yes, we have to go. Yes, precisely. Yes. The motto for Ogwa Hall in English is knowledge, unity, and peace. Nimzi, Kruye, Nasmuchi. That is a beautiful power. And uh, this evening, the whole president and the executive will mm -hmm. come to TV3. Okay. To also participate. And it will interest you to know that 1999, whole president is Herbert Ma. Yes, I was going to say you have forgotten. You know, you failed to mention a very important thing. No. Oh, you mentioned it. No. No. Yes, her mom is the whole person. Yes. You said recently came back to give a lecture, a no. powerful lecture that a lot of people were talking yes. about. It was on Twitter yes. Yes. the whole time. Yes, 1989. Oh. Yes, we want to celebrate him. And uh, we will give you the presenter, a souvenir, and a souvenir to Oh, Herbert I Mark. think you brought yes. some, yes. right? Yes, yes. Okay, so come on. Uh, we had those who even got their spouses at Uguawa. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Doctor Herita Abani, okay. Oguaho. Then Professor Majesty Abani saw her, okay. also Oguaho. Then mm -hmm. Reverend Father Doctor George Dawson Amwa, mm. my junior brother, was at Oguaho, <laughs> and met her, his wife, okay, uh, yeah. his wife who right. was at Adeshe. Uh, all right, yes. Home master. Oh, we have to Kobo. end it. Yes, we have to end. Yes, it. because we don't have a lot of time, and oh, we can't go we, through. We, yes. <laughs> okay, so that is that. Oguaho, we have achieved, and uh, during the whole week, we are going to um, dedicate yeah. our hybrid library. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. That's Sixty compu computers. Okay. Mm -hmm.
then uh, the reading room, the JCR, is now an air conditioned room. Okay. All right. Then sanitation, okay. they are produced, provided 30 liter bins for sanitation. Then the Aluta Square have been turned to a mini Aluta Square. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh, Master, my producers, yeah. my directors tell me we'll have to take a break. Um, the yeah. whole week begins today, it starts yes. today, and they have eminent people. A lot of them found their spouses on campus, and yeah. they're doing so well, so you might as well go to Ogwa Hall. Who knows what will come out of it? Henry Mawu was the 1999 Hall oh, president, president for yeah. Ogwa Hall, and he's been extremely active mm -hmm. there. But right now, we'll take, uh, we'll, I think, I'll, let me take my, you know, the presents you brought. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, we'll take yeah. a this is beautiful. On behalf of Ogwa Hall Council. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful, right? Eh? Yes. Oh, this, this is, is so this beautiful. You. I'll wait. I'm yes, going to wait. wait. Yes, then and I'll give this one to Henry Mao. He's not in, but I'll, yes. I'll present it to him on yeah. headlines this afternoon. Yes. Thank then you so much. This pattern. Okay. Oh, yes. I wish I could wear it. Yes. You know, I wish wear I could wear it. Yes. Ogwa oh. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, this one also for heaven. All right, carry my moment. I'll yes. give it to you. I'll give this we one. We celebrate to you. I wish all it of them. It won't go away. And we, no, <laughs> Let okay. me, how do you open it? Okay. All right, so take that tit bit and then we'll come back with a rough and smooth. Yeah, we'll come back to continue. Stay with us here on Diva Show. The Premier League has voted to introduce goal line technology for the 2013-2014 season. British-based Hawkeye has been awarded the contract to provide the system. Hawkeye uses seven cameras per goal to detect the ball and claims its system is millimeter accurate, ensuring no broadcast replays could disapprove the decision. UEFA General Secretary Gianni Infantino proposes new plans to combat racism in football, including 10 match bans for players found guilty of racial abuse. Piara Powa of anti racism group FA, the Football Against Racism in Europe, says UEFA's announcement sets the standards for the way governing bodies deal with racism. Ghana dropped down two places in the April edition of the FIFA Coca-Cola World Ranking released on Thursday. The Black Stars now occupy 22nd position on the table after being leapfrogged by Denmark and Bosnia-Herzegovina. The Black Stars lost 9 points to leave them with a total of 874 points as compared to the March editions of 18 points gained with 883 points. Ghana international Andre Dede Ayew has dropped a hint that he may leave Olympic Marseille at the end of the season. Ayew, who has been on the radar for English Premier League giants Manchester United and Spanish side Barcelona, noted any good offer this summer could see him packing from the Stade Velodrome. I am so loving today's show. Look, if we had given Hall Master two hours, he wouldn't have finished giving us the list of uh, the prominent people who have passed to their school, their spouses. But long and short, Ogwa Week, the whole, the whole week begins today. Go there, join them, be part of it. Great. And uh, I'm so grateful for the presence as well. On Twitter, uh, let me just read a couple of your comments. That uh, Otri Richmond says, um, oh, I'm loving your hair. Simply amazing. Everybody's talking about my hair. Please. Talk about my guest. Thank you. But uh, our main guests for today, they are in. I gave them 9 a.m. I don't know why they showed up at, what, 9.20? Well, they can be forgiven because for a very long time, we've enjoyed their song. And I remember when one of them was asked, I think it was Rolf, when he was asked, what's a free kick? This is a free kick. It's a kick that is free. <laughs> Good morning, uh, guys. Uh, Rolf, uh, Rolf and smooth. And smooth yeah. Right. How are you? We're doing great. You know. Great. I see it. I, I love your shade. 
So what happened to my shades? I wanted my shades. My <laughs> producer says, please, I need to look like these guys. <laughs> no, but how, how? How are you guys doing? Yeah, we're doing great by great. the grace of God. Right. Yeah. And they are joined by a PER uh, for their use, I believe. Precisely. And then you're also a sports analyst. Yes. Taki, Fifi Taki, good morning to you. Good morning. Yes, we'll be talking about it. I'm very interested in the IU. Beautiful. My earrings, thank I you very them. much. Thank you very much, Anne. But, uh, let's <laughs> okay, have you improved since that time, free kick? Yeah, of course, because, you know, right now, I'm, uh, my son is a footballer now, and oh. I'm the manager, so, you know, right now, I know a lot of Oh, people. my God. <laughs> so, he goes to his games, and where does he play? How old is he? He starts with Oh, he's now 11 years. Oh, okay, like. where does he play? Right now, he's in the coast team, and we're trying to... Really? Yeah. So, what's a free kick? Now, let's ask mm. you. Let's you know, do the same question kick, back to you. Free kick is still free kick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take it freely, you know. <laughs> it's a, indeed, it's a free kick. How does, a, how does I mean, free kick come about? Free kick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, no, I don't, I'm guessing I don't it's, your son, it's your son who loves football. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but uh, did you follow the Champions League smooth? Yeah. Not really bad, you know. I know a little bit about it. Okay, yeah. well, did you watch uh, Barca, PSG? Yeah, I watched, I watched that match. Okay, how, was that? How, how would you assess? Barcelona looked very ordinary. I mean, like nothing until Messi came in yeah. one pass to David Villa and then Pedro scores. Yeah, like, you know, I think that Barcelona, like you said, you know, Messi made uh, Barcelona won that game because, you know, without him, they were, they were playing nothing on the field. And I was supporting PSG to win, and unfortunately... Barcelona scored that game, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I hope you watched with your son, too. Yeah, I was in the studio at that time, but I oh, think my, my son studio. watched it, and he watched it with that Can we so. call your son and ask him how the game went? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be sleeping by now. He know. will be, yeah. but daddy is on TV. He should come and cheer daddy up. Oh, but he's, he's so, so used to you. Yeah, he's used to you. Yeah, I mean. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm Phoebe Taki. I'm sure you follow the games. I'm, yes, I do. I watched the uh, Chelsea's and, well, Fernando <laughs> Torres. Well, he's done well this week. Two goals, not bad. But how, how would you assess the the Champions League where it is now? Then the draw. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I expected it. That, that with a draw, I expected um, um, Madrid playing the Dortmund, and then the, um, Barcelona playing. The, um, uh, I I I think I think that the Champions League itself, it's. It's a very good product. Sure. Um, undoubtedly, has a big, 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 big for And the Europa League, myself, I mean, I, even when it's Euro, Europa, yeah, I watch it, but it doesn't carry the same feeling as the Champions League. You exactly. Know? It's just like the, on the African continent, the African Nations Cup, and then the Champ, yeah. which, which is played by the local base sure. players. Sure, players, yeah. The... Advertising revenue and the the interest, the media hype that comes with it is, is massive. So every player wants to play in the Champions League, and when you play to that level, I mean you get a lot of money as well, and then your profile, your profile goes up, your profile goes up, and all that. So it's a it's a very big thing for the footballers. Right. If you don't play in the Champions League, uh, they, they, and a lot of people, in fact, expected were not expecting. I mean Madrid and Barcelona to play in the semis. They would rather have an El Clasico in the finals at Wembley than to have them. So I think it looks as if it played out quite well. Dortmund, Borussia, uh, Borussia Dortmund, and then was it Bayern Munich? Yeah. But Bayern Munich can't disturb Barcelona. Bayern Munich can't disturb Barcelona seriously. because Barcelona's um, defensive, the back four, is, is, is not that vibrant. The they, uh, Prior is not consistent. Gerard Pique, I think he loves coming for it than staying behind and then defend. Um, they have a good right back, uh, Daniel Alves and Go. But I, I, I think that with a, with, a, with a caliber of players that um, 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 Bayern Munich has with Ribery, Iron Robin. And I'm surprised with Robin. Robin after all these years. He is still such a player to always mark. His left footy, I don't know what he does. My UCC pendant is out, <laughs> so let me just put it here. <laughs> yeah, but I am Robin is a phenomenal player. Yeah, I mean, when you're a footballer, you have to do what footballers does. You, 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 after working with footballers a lot, you have to rest a lot, abstain from a lot of things, and now. That will keep you in the sure, game for fit. a very long time. Yeah, and you're smooth. training serious as well. Okay, smooth. Yeah. I mean, the draw happened yesterday. Now, yeah. Madrid is playing, uh, what's the name of the team again? Dortmund. 
that one, yeah. And then uh, Barca is playing Bayern Munich. Tell me, I mean, when the draw came and you saw that, what was going through your mind? Yeah, uh, like like you said, everyone, everyone expected, uh, you know, Madrid to play Dortmund and uh, Barca to play uh, Bayern Munich. But uh, for me, I just want to see Real Madrid in the final. Yes, the final. I also want to see Madrid in the final. <laughs> yeah, because uh, they've really worked hard for it and I think they deserve this cup this time around. Mm -hmm. So this time around, Dortmund is not going to kick Real Madrid. Really? I, I'm thinking that Bayern Munich rather deserves it. I mean, they've been to the, for the last time, Mourinho just took the cup away from them, you know, from when Inter played Bayern Munich. And Inter Milan, you know, Milito, I remember then, it was Milito yeah, who scored those two goals. Uh, I, I'm thinking that uh, Bayern deserves it more than Barca. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? He hasn't answered the question, but he's laughing. He's laughing. You know. <laughs> oh, I, I, I want to ask him a question. Oh, go ahead. No, so, which, which English team do you support? Uh huh. English team, that's Chelsea. Oh, you support Chelsea, Chelsea. the women's fellowship. You're still supporting. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chelsea is not a women's fellowship. They are, they are currently the you know, know they 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 the champions. Yeah, so. at, at least they are better than us now. <laughs> no, they are they are the champions now. <laughs> which which champions? They are currently the champions of you know Europe. Oh, please. who watches that anyway? Yeah, well, that's no. I'm talking about the Champions League. <laughs> they are they are current champions. Oh, right? but no, no, please. They are they are the current champions of champions. But where are they? They are not in it. Please, let's not go. Let's not go into that argument. Oh, so you did see my team like that. Oh no, but <laughs> beyond playing, that, no. Tell me about playing, now you're playing the Europa. Out. Yeah, they are you in the play, Europe. Yeah. They are in the semi-finals. Uh, they are playing Basel. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that's fine. But uh, tell me about your impressions, Basel. Yeah, you know, he, he says he says something that my team is out. So <laughs> since then, I've not been watching. You know. Oh. Yeah, because my team is out and, you know. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> Rob, you don't like football. <laughs> Rob, you don't like no, no, sports. No, no, I, I, I like sports. I, I so like which it. one do you watch? Which one? Ampe. <laughs> Ampe. Oh, I'll play Ampe with you. <laughs> no, Rob. Of course, I like sports, but like, you know, since uh, Chelsea came, I have not been watching because... You're still really into... into yeah. 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 All right, so give me uh, four names. Chelsea. <laughs> Yeah. Four names. Yes, in Chelsea. Uh, Torres. Michael Lowy. Michael Lowy. Why is Michael Lowy going to be so tired? Michael Lowy. Michael Lowy. Michael Lowy. Okay, so uh, your team. Press the hammer. Michael Lowy. Hazard. Hazard. Michael Lowy. Sure. My Michael is, is in Chelsea. Yeah, but Michael is still a Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. Current, yeah. No, current players, please don't don't try to justify <laughs> his. My Essien played for Madrid not so long ago. Please. You know, but like who, who my, my, pa my partner is laughing, you know, but no, don't mind your partner. I was always there. Uh, you're and you are still no, coming no, up with the team. Drogba, yeah, Drogba. He's in Chelsea right now, eh? No, he plays in China right now. He's in China too. Turkey. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Please, you have to go. You have this one. You have to Google it and start reading about Chelsea and say my team Chelsea and start you know getting all the details. No, smooth, yeah, yeah, please, yeah. Rob. Please, your 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 team would be very happy with you. The women's fellowship. They are watching. They are on Twitter. I know they they hate me for saying that the women's fellowship, but they are really. Um, but. Akwesiapia, let's come back home. I'm going to take Akwesiapia. He's one, a year now. I mean, since he's been in charge, I still remember how we all rallied behind him to support him when we thrashed Lesotho. But after that, we lost to Zambia. And then, well, it's been like, mm, and we're here. Well, I think um, one year of Akwesiapia, he's done well. He's, um, he qualified the team to the Nations Cup. Um, We've won the Nations Cup four times. We don't. We don't even want to repeat. No, not with thing. him. Not with him. Yes. He wants to. He wants to win it. Unfortunately, he couldn't win it. It's not the end of the world. We have the World Cup um, qualifying series, which is still ongoing. Um, I think he's done well. But I, I think the GFA has allowed him to to work to work do do his own thing because I know for a fact that there are certain decisions. I mean, even Opoku Fie. Uh, who's been a team manager for five years said sure. it, that they don't allow him to work there are certain decisions that they they take for him so if you allow him to work and then certain decisions he stamp his authority on it i think that it will, it will, it will be better right. for now but i think so um so far so good 
the most important thing is that we want to qualify to the World Cup. I want to go to Brazil. I'm sure you want to go to Brazil as uh, well. We yeah, I want to go and buy Brazil. We all want to go. I want to go to Brazil. Everybody wants to go to Brazil. So yeah, I want to go. I want to go to Brazil and date a Brazilian girl. Brazilian girl. You're not dating anybody. No, because like I want to stop buying Brazilian hair. Oh, okay. So she has it already. Yeah. No, but you still have to buy it for her. No, they don't. They don't. Brazilian girls don't. They don't. They don't buy Brazilian. Who hair. told you? They have it naturally. Who told? Who lied to you? Please. So you know, Angelina Jolie, Black Star have Beyonce, they all, so that they all, all of them. But Beyonce is not a Brazilian. No, I know, woman. but I'm trying to say that. I mean, no matter how you rate them, the fact that they make it there, even Indian girls, they wear extensions. Don't, don't, no, let nobody. So Black Star should qualify so that we go to Brazil, and you know. Okay, so let me ask you about your impressions of uh, Kwesi Apia on Kwesi Apia. Yeah, Kwesi Apia, I think uh, to me so far so good. But like, one thing I've realized about we Ghanaians, like, you know, we're always on the glory line. Like, when something go good, like, when it goes good, yeah, we, we support it. But when yeah. it comes down, everybody goes like, wow, wow. I think they should give him more chance and more room to operate because, I mean, I think he's got everything to make it happen. To uh, he's got everything to make uh, the Black Stars qualify for the uh, World, World Cup. Cup yeah. yeah. So I support Kasi Apia, and I think Ghanaians should give him a chance and support him fully. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, there was there was a, 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 a chance. I mean, we missed Bla during the Afcon. Burkina Faso. That referee wanted to help us to go to the final. That's Why? <laughs> I mean, do you remember? Uh, do you remember that uh, game? Yeah, I remember. I remember that game. Um, I think it was it was it was very ugly. You think it was just to make it our Kwesi Apia look good? It was it was too blatant. It was it was it was, it was it was just bad. If you if you follow Twitter, social media, it, it was, was bad. It was that, it was and I, I I I applaud Kaf immediately putting um, sanction on the referee. Um, the referee himself came out too. Apologize. Are you I mean, sure Kaf wasn't in on it? Remember, a lot of people actually thought it would be nice the, to have, people have a said Nigeria that, yes, people Ghana have said final. That, uh, I mean, Kaf wanted to sell that product. If you have a Nigeria Ghana final, it will be it will be a sellout. Everybody will want to go and watch that game. And I'm sure the from the from from the uh, airlines to the travel and tours sure. to. Uh, Everybody, yeah. caterers yeah. and all that, everybody yeah. made money, hotels and all yeah. that. But I wish that Ghana plays Nigeria in the final, mm -hmm. which I think that if we have played them in the final, we have beat them anyway. Right. Uh, but unfortunately, <laughs> it, it, didn't it, it, it didn't happen, and I think it was it was very very ugly right. for football. Right. Um, when we came back from the Afcon, I mean, Kwesiapia was heavily criticised, yeah. and but the GFA retained him. Yeah. Uh, it's just to show that well, they have confidence in the Ghanaian coach or a local coach. But do you think Ghanaians are giving him the, the support he needs, the room that he needs to be able to groom these young, talented players to be the Essians of the team? Yeah, I think like after the, after the African Cup, Ghanaians were like, you know, they don't think he can really do the job. Like, but uh, personally, I think that they should, they should you know, just give him the chance to operate, you know, because uh, most of the uh, the white coaches that can that, that comes here, you know, they, they are giving they are giving you know a lot of time to you know really show their their their, their talent and all that. Right. So they sh they should just relax for him and give him a little time to operate right. to do his things. Right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, well, you're watching the Divas show is live on TV3, and my guest, Rough and Smooth, and Fifi Taki. Fifi Taki will excuse us briefly because I would want him to, you know, respond to some of the comments and criticism that have come because he's a PR for the IU brothers, and I, I really want to ask him that. So we'll take a short break. When we come back, I promise to read your comments, tons of them. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Diva Show live on TV3. I'm still hanging with the Ralph and very smooth. smooth. And Ralph is very rough. I mean, he knows very little about football. But his son is inspiring him because his son is, you know, a footballer, young, 11-year-old, who's learning how to play football. And uh, I'm sure very soon he'll become the Essien of Ghana. You know what right. I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I know what it is. His nickname is uh, Messi. Messi? Yeah, that's oh, wow, nice one. Yeah. Oh, but I hope he's at least 0.001% close to what Messi is. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's more closer. You know, he's like, closer, yeah. like 1%. He's talented, you know. He's talented. I like yeah. that. No, I like that. I like that. But of course, we'll be joined in the studio by a very loyal viewer of Diva's show. She is a diva. I mean, every from the hair so to her dress to her earring, everything I'm saying is girl. Diva. I've got she attitude. Like Hi, Angela Hesse. How are you? I'm good. Oh, you're you're from where? 
Trans Africa University. A journalist? Yeah. Wow. I mean, for a journalist, God, hey, Charlie, mm -hmm. you're, you're really hard. I like her swag. Yeah. You like her swag. Mm -hmm. I mean, should you say in your video? Was definitely. <laughs> no. <laughs> Angel, how long have you been following Diva Show? Um, since it was started. It was yeah. started. The days yeah. of if we see you do the uh -huh, Bingley. Yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, nice. And yeah. what do you what do you think about the show? It's fun. It's entertaining, and I don't know. I just like, I love it. Yeah. Do, do you think it has really helped women to sort of like football, to pay attention to sports? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You know, I wasn't so much into sports, so this program, yeah. Kim, so how much do you know? Right now, who is your, your local favorite player or international favorite player? Locally, um, Emmanuel Clarte. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. And nice. Messi. Oh, Messi. Oh, I'm sure it's not because uh, he said his son plays like Messi. <laughs> 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 how is he because his son plays? I'm a yeah, Barca fan. Yeah. Oh, so how was, how, did you watch Wednesday's yeah, game? Yeah, I did. You did? Mm -hmm. Tell me about the magic of Messi. He's wonderful. Mm -hmm. hey, without him, <laughs> Barca, yeah, Barca wouldn't be there. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we have him there. So right. get, get ready to lose. <laughs> no, nah, we're not going to lose. <laughs> Against Bayern. Uh -huh. Tell me. We're mm -hmm. not going to lose. We're going to win. Are you yeah? sure? How? We just give them three goals. Three wow. goals. Yeah. Three goals to Where? Bayern Munich. <laughs> oh, that would be, that would be Bayern Munich, tough. yeah. <laughs> really? Messi wow. will, will do his magic. Have yeah? you really watched, you know, some of the uh, matches of Bayern um, Munich? Please, I, I'm conducting the show. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll ask that for you, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How, did you even watch the game? Did you even watch the last game? <laughs> If you want it doesn't game. matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right, no, but but I'm glad to have you here in the studio. Now you're here. How is the feeling like? Is it like you were watching at home? Has it jammed? What is it? It feels great to be here. Right. Yeah. Feel very right. happy. Did you tell your friends? Do you have a boyfriend? Let's start. We're friends with are here, so I just need to <laughs> set the boundaries. <laughs> yeah. Mm, um, all right, so um, last week we had our very first guest, set of ladies who have been watching the show from the start. And they were in the studio, they did their very best. I liked them, I must say, but we got, you know, a word from them. So let's just have a playback of that. I'm Ryder Kento. Um, I was on the Diva show last week, Saturday, and I think it's a nice idea to be bringing the fans on the stage because it's kind of open doors for other people. You get most of your friends and like Facebook messages and it was fun. I felt good. It was a very nice program, seriously. I really enjoyed myself, especially having a one-on-one -on -one chat with Paul Kessler and also with Bridget Utsu. It was very nice. I really enjoyed myself. Diva show, it's one of the shows that um, a lot of people watch. So I think most of the times they need to in include the fans more because the fans are, you know, I think they must be included more. Right, it was nice to hear that. And in, in fact, I also had a nice time with them. And Kwaoke said they are Bodam Man. I hope he's, I'm sure he's on Twitter. Yeah, madness. So <laughs> we're back in the studio. Um, what do you make about, I mean, of our, you know, the whole idea of bringing our fans who've been watching and following the show to the studio so they can connect with people like you? Today, you've met Ralph and Smith. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's a, it's a great idea because, you know, a lot of people love this program. You know, initially when it came out, you know, people were like, wow, you know, it's a brilliant idea and people liked it. And now, introduce, like, bringing uh, those fans on set. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great idea. It's a great idea. And you, she already has a contract. She's going to be featured in your next Most video. Most definitely. Like, like she's got a swag, you know. <laughs> but she got a swag, you right. know. Right. I quite remember I was watching the program and they asked the guest that uh, which uh, uh, English team do you support? Uh -huh. And it was like Barcelona. <laughs> Uh, Barcelona to his right. And Barcelona is a Spanish. I know, I know. It was no. like. It was like Barcelona would be swag. He was so <laughs> proud to say that. You know. No, don't worry. Don't, don't even go far. You know, we had Angelique, the elementary school teacher from the UK a while ago. She okay. came on the show and we asked her, uh, English players, and she said, Messi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so it happens. But it I'm not like saying Michael Owen. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know, but Diva Show, I think it's, it's good, you know, because yeah. uh, it's, it's educative and uh, it's, it's 
It's like ladies doing sports, you know, like yeah. ladies with swag doing sports. Like I like that, ladies with swag doing right. sports. You know, you most know, of the divas. time, yeah, you don't have programs you. that are being hosted by ladies, you know. Yeah. Uh, not just ladies, sweet, beautiful, ladies. sexy yeah. like cheese ladies. Cheese ladies. <laughs> <laughs> sexy like cheese ladies, you know. <laughs> Right, um, but today you you guys have been on the show, and your song, you know, your song even made the Diva show like the Diva show. Yeah. I mean, it added the Z and Diva. And so the swag. Freaky. Give me a line of that. Shorty, you knock me off my feet. Oh, mama, mama cool, I told me. The way you walk, they that's make that's me that's weak. That's they call that's me out. That's cool. Say, adikulu, eh, adikulu, eh, adikulu. Say, you feel it, swagger. She be sweet like banana. And she, they come from Ghana. She said, D. You are a diva. What are you working on now? Yo. Now, okay. you know, like, we out with a new single. Like, we just came back from a uh, United States tour now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean... Well, how many, like, states did you visit? Yeah, we played 25 states, but we played 10. And really? We had, yeah, we had to come back and release our new song because, like, our fans in Ghana were, like, rough and smooth. Yeah. They, like, they can't find us, you know, because... Yeah. We are away playing uh, tours, uh, so we mm. came back to release a new song. A new single. A new single, Dance For Me, which is doing very oh, well. Dance For Me. Yeah, the video is on all the TV channels Yeah, now. we wanted to play it, unfortunately, yeah. we, we were not able to, yeah. but we will make up for it's it. It's a great video, you know, you, you have to... Oh, I have, trust. Have you Your video? videos are always beautiful, so I don't think I paid attention to the video. No, yeah, I don't you, think you so. You have, have to, to be honest. The video no, is, I don't think is, so, but... It's one, of, it's one of the best videos to uh, ever come out. One of the most expensive uh, yeah. videos from uh, Ghana. Yeah. Really? Last yeah. week, Abadam was here and said the Caterpillar video is the most expensive, so you have to watch it. And Abadam doesn't like it. <laughs> 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 you, 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 need, you, need, you need to watch this video. Yeah. I, I would, no, I would watch it's it. It's international sure. standard. And, and because we shot it in, in three different countries, and that makes it which, more which expensive. Which countries? Yeah, we, we, we shot it in Canada. Uh, America and London. And London. Yeah. London. Okay. Yeah. What what inspired what inspired the you know the, the whole the movements whole from one country to the because other? Because we wanted to you know have an environmental uh, uh, changes uh, in settings. Right. And yeah. and the song too is about like, it's about life. So we're trying to. Is it about your life? It's not about life. We uh, like our life as in uh, like being uh, personal, but it's about life in general. In general. In general. It's we're trying to. We're trying to portray the other side of the Western world, you know. People think going out there is going to be cleaner and all that, but like mm. in the video, you could see a white man begging on the street, you know. So we wanted something like that to show to Ghanaians that come on, if you any fee, and you know, baby Andrew. So, right. so like. That's what we it's have just to a spend. Great video. We, we have, have to, to spend see. time yeah. moving from but Canada. We're, we're taking a break, time. right? Yeah. We're taking a, our final break, right? But take us to the break too. Yeah, go with a new uh, song. Oh, uh, with a new song? Yeah. yeah. Hey, you're it's going to sing. Away, yeah, 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 man, yeah, man. And forget about your wah la la. If you say no condition, be permanent. Yeah, so brother, don't do ya wah ya wah. Hey, dance for me, dance for my baby. Dance for me. We'll be right back. In the Global Premier League fixtures, Liberty professionals will face New Adubiase on Saturday, whilst on Sunday, Brooklyn Chelsea will host Kim Faisal at the Golden City Park. Hearts of Lions will be playing Mediama at the Pando Park, whilst the Diana Stars will be battling it out with Brecum Arsenal's. At the Tamale Sports Stadium, RTU will play host to Wa All Stars, while Kotoko at the Barbera Sports Stadium will host Ebusha Drafts. Is going to be a Tema affair as Amidal's professionals will rub shoulders with Tema youth and Ash Gold will be pitching strength against Hatterfolk at the Lenkley Sports Stadium. Welcome back to the Divas Show Live on TV3. Uh, we have another guest who has joined us, but Rough and Smooth is still with us in the studio. But uh, one of the guys who will help us, a production assistant, you know, who will help us put the show together, unfortunately, I think early in the week he had an accident. And Nana, if you're watching us, know that our hearts is with you. Uh, we cannot even begin to imagine what you've been through, but know that uh, we are solidly behind you and we'll give you all the support you need. Uh, but uh, her other partner, that's Nana Ekuya, 
Nana Ekuya is celebrating her birthday today. She's a production assistant here at TV3. Nana Ekuya Mankwa, a very, very big happy birthday to you. Work so hard to get in all the materials I need. So I am extremely grateful to you. And Nana, get well soon. So we'll come and visit you. I'm sure after the show, we'll come there. Yeah. Um, hi, your name? Hello, I'm Bryden. Bryden Badu. From where? I'm from the Royal Gem Investment Club. Okay. So okay. what brings you here today? Okay. Actually, um, first, of, first and foremost, let me say a, a very good morning to your wonderful listeners. I feel very elated to be here and I feel very pri privileged and honored. Mm -hmm. Thanks to your production team that even though we came here, it's been challenging, but then finally... The yeah, I said I, I told them not to even allow you to come <laughs> on. Because when we give you nine, we expect you to respect it. Yeah. And yeah, come on nine. Yeah. I'm very sure about that. So, okay. Yes, um, Royal Gem Investment Club is an investment club in the Mount Zion Methodist Church in Collegon. Well, what's, what's it doing? Okay, um, we are having a gem project um, for orphans and actually um, a buffet lunch for mothers that we've dubbed Mama Eco 2013. Actually, the club, as part of our corporate social... That's the t-shirt you're wearing, yes, right? Yes, that, mm. that, 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 Mama Eco... Mama Eco 2013. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and the, and the whole idea is that we just want to give back to society what society has given to us. So this year, we collaborated with the church as part of this Mother's Day celebration to, to come up with such a program. And the program is taking off on um, 12th of May at the Smith's Guest House. But then mm. we have a couple of activities that will precede the, 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 the activity itself. I think exactly three weeks ago to, from today, we, we were at the Rafiki of Anage Village in Winneba, where we had some time with the kids. We had a general cleaning and fun games with them. All right. And yeah. you're based in Kolegono. Yep, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's what touched me about the projects you're doing. Kolegono, I mean, the perception out there is not very um, bright. Yeah. But when you see things like this happening in communities, I think it's I think it's a brilliant idea. And all the support you need, I hope you get them. But, I mean, rough and smooth. What do you yeah. make of, you know, the guys trying to, you know, make better their lives, using such pl platforms, and to give back to society. Uh, mothers, you said we're single yes, mothers? Yes, mothers. Mothers and, and then all funds. Mothers and and orphans, then yeah. all funds. What so do you mean? I like know, it's a good idea because, you know, like you said, we have to give to society what they give to us. You know, we have to give it back to them. And, you know, rough and smooth, we also have, you know, uh, a project that we embark on it, positive children of the future. We help them with feeding kids. We, we together with a couple of artists, we we trying to generate money. We trying to generate you know things and uh, to help these kids because yeah. we believe that they are they are the future leaders. They are the future rough and smooth. They are the future messes and yeah, I like that. Yours is when? Yours is when? Yeah, actually, yes, yeah, the, the the program itself will start from twelve. 12. May. Yes, the eleventh and twelve. But 11th and on the eleventh of May, and it's to like climax the Mother's Day celebration. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, do, you give back? To, yeah, Ralph, do you give yeah, back? I do that most of the time. I mean, come on, because we coming from the ghetto, you know. He's talking about all fans here. Yeah. But it's good, you know, like sometimes celebrities say, but like for somebody or no, like he's trying to make something happen like this. That means yeah. it's, a, it's a good it's and good, yeah. brilliant idea. I mean, if everybody's going to do like this, our politicians, musicians, yeah, we need footballers, that, you know? If everybody's gonna do like that, come on, Ghana is gonna be uh, a better place. A better place, you know. So, but uh, what you're doing is the best. Yeah, I like that. So, Germany? Is it Germany? Sorry. What's, it, what's the name of the group? Rare Gem. Rare Gem. Yes. Okay, so it's a Mama Eco project. I, I like that very much. So yeah. we're taking the talk, Diva talk. So if we're ready, and then we'll have uh, Fifi. To answer to you know what the are you brothers problem is, what do they want us to do again? I mean we've pampered them. They are nice guys, we like them, they play well. Come back to the team. You said no, why? He'll answer that. I think it's his first attempt. And um, he actually used players that people didn't really believe in. He was able to take us uh, far. Just that we couldn't, I mean, lift the trophy as a lot of Ghanaians expected. To me, he didn't do well in the AFCON and uh, I was expecting at least a boost to the semi-final or the final. And uh, the likes of dropping the Ayu brothers especially and um, calling him Frimpon is a good idea though. But we want the likes of the Ayu to come back and ACN to come back so that at least the World Cup will be a successful story. So that's, uh, you know, the public expressing their, um, their, should I say, frustration. A lot of them said uh, uh, Apia didn't do so well at the African Cup of Nations and dropping IU Brothers. Taki, Fifi is back. Fifi, you're the PR for them, right? What's their problem? Um, I don't think there's a problem. 
The problem was that If there's no problem, why have they taken such a premature decision to retire? Oh, it's not a premature decision. I mean, this is a decision. It, it might be painful to the fans of um, their brothers, but I'm sure most of them under, understand them. And um, they, in their last letter to the GFA, they indicated that they, the GFA said they should make themselves available for future Black Stars game. And they say they will, not now, but soon. Mm. So let's, let's wait and see. Right. Um, if you say it's not premature, I disagree. How old is he? It's not like 23? 23. 23, yes. And Jordan is He's 21. 23, and then Jordan is 21. When they are taking a premature retire. You say it's not premature. I well, mean, I mean, footballers yeah. retire 38, 40, mm. when they are, you know, dipping. Not when they are at their peak. When, so there must be when, a problem. When, when, when you feel that you're not, you're not, you're not wanted and um, you probably have to take a break. Sometimes you take a long leave, even in our jobs that we do. Hmm. You take a long leave, assess yourself. Right. I hope they reconsider though. Assess yourself we don't and find <laughs> out, oh, what did I do wrong? Why is this happening to me? But that's exactly why the GFA has extended an invitation. I'm sure we can delve more into this because we don't GFA have a lot has of time. A, the GFA has done it. They've written to them, but as we speak now, nobody from the GFA has spoken to them. All right, all right. But I hope, I mean, I hope, uh, I hope it, it, it's sorted out. But, Rolf, quick, quick one. We, yeah. We've run out of time. What do you make of this uh, premature, I still say premature retirement? You know, what, 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 what our twist, like, you know, that you brothers, I mean, they are very talented, skillful and all that. So whatever the problem is, I think, like, the GFA and the uh, the. Are you brothers to solve because we want them in the team and we want them to be in a black yeah. circle.